So today I wanted to talk about my tips for having a baby less expensively. Um, some of these are a little random and maybe not what a lot of people think or agree with. But these are just my ideas if you're starting out and you're really trying to cut costs with a baby. The first thing doesn't necessarily have to do with having a cheap baby, depending upon your goals for your family. So, so the first thing that I think is kind of an expense, not because it's expensive to find out, but because it affects everything later on is finding out the gender. Now, if you know you're going to have one baby and be done, then by all means, finding out the gender will not <laughs> cost you anything. But if you are like us, when we went to have Isaac, my husband and I knew we would be having at least two more babies after Isaac. And so when we went into it knowing that, finding out the gender seemed really impractical because we didn't want people buying us pink nursery stuff. We didn't want people buying us um, at pink car seats, pink, you know, whatever it was. We wanted gender neutral because the chances of all three babies being the same gender is possible, highly possible, but highly unlikely. And since we knew that we wanted more kids, not finding out the gender was super helpful to us because when the baby was born, we'd have all gender neutral stuff. And then once it was born, we could buy it boy clothes or girl clothes or whatever it was, but that our big ticket items would all be gender neutral. So for future babies, we wouldn't have to worry about it. And also when we had future babies, we'd also have some gender neutral clothing for it to start out with. And you might be like, oh, but I don't want my baby wearing mint green and puke yellow. <laughs> well, neutral baby clothes have come a long way. Grays and browns and all sorts of other more neutral colors are huge right now. Um, and personally, I love the gray theme stuff. So that is kind of what we went for. I'm a little crooked here. So not finding out was super nice because now we have newborn clothes for a girl or a boy and you can get a few specialty things like some cute girl headbands or some cute boy hats to go with your gender neutral clothing for the first few weeks. When our babies were born, um, friends who were done having boys gave us their boy clothes. Um, friends and family bought us boy clothes. And so chances are, whether you have a girl or boy, you're going to get baby clothes in that gender after the baby's born. And so for the first stage of newborn, you have newborn neutral clothing that will work for whatever child you have in the future, as well as for this child. And then you can get more gender specific stuff as they grow. And that was never a big deal for me. I made sure to purchase one really cute girl outfit and one really cute boy outfit for the baby announcement when the baby is born. So we could be like, hey, it's a girl or hey, it's a boy and have it be really cute. But they grow out of that newborn stuff so fast that having them in gender neutral and just having to put a hat on there that's a boy or a <laughs> bow in it so people can tell it's a girl was not a huge deal to me. Um, the next thing that will cut expenses is no nursery. Now this is something we didn't have that I really wanted to have, but I definitely feel like, <laughs> excuse me, that I definitely feel like it saved us money. Um, so we did not have room for a nursery. We have a three bedroom house. So my husband and I in one room, our daughter in one room and our son in another room. The baby would end up sleeping in our room until I stopped nursing and I had planned on nursing for at least a year. So the baby wouldn't have used the nursery for the first year at our house anyways. And then it was going to have to go into either my daughter's room if it was a girl or my son's room if it was a boy. And so it's saving on that expense. You know, we didn't have to buy specific decor, thought they were going to outgrow in a few years. We didn't do any of that stuff. And that is something that kind of actually makes me a little sad. Um, if I ever lived in a house that there was room for a nursery, I would maybe make one, even though it's highly impractical. I mean, like the practical side of me is like, yeah, a baby nursery is a dumb idea. It's not very practical, but honestly, there are so many cute ones. And if you have room for it and can afford it, by all means, go for it. But again, this is just ways to save money and they're going to have their own interests and things that they want in the future. So waiting a couple of years to decorate a room and find out their personality and what they're drawn to isn't necessarily a bad idea. But again, we just did it because of the practical side of having two older kids, not having an actual room for a nursery. So before moving on from this one, I wanted to say I actually really want a nursery and my friend gave me permission to post these pictures of her nursery as she is expecting a baby. 
And this is just the corner of her room and she turned just the corner of her room into this adorable little cactus themed nursery and I love it. I did not think of turning just part of a room into one. I Silly me, I thought I had to have a hay hole room to pull off a nursery. So now that I have seen this, I might actually try and turn part of our bedroom into a mini cloud themed nursery. We will see, but I love the idea of it and I'm by no means slamming nurseries. Again, this was something I really wanted, but the practical side of me won out <laughs> when we had Isaac. But I may see what I can do with just the corner of our bedroom to turn it into a little bit more of a baby friendly nursing spot. Cloth diapering. So we actually use the cloth diapers and regular diapers and I'm going to do a whole video on cloth diapering um, so I'm not going to go into that too much but we use about ten dollars of regular diapers a month and the rest we use in cloth diapering so that is a huge saving so there is a little bit of startup cost when it comes to cloth diapering we were luckily gifted cloth diapering for a baby shower because we requested cloth diapers but if you aren't getting them as a gift, there is a little bit of an expense involved. But honestly, $10 a month for diapers is awesome. So that is something that has definitely helped us save money. Um, the other thing that we use, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes. The other thing that has saved us a lot of money is not using baby food. Um, baby food is expensive and not necessarily very healthy for your baby. We did baby led weaning. Um, which was awesome for us, very inexpensive and <laughs> better for the baby. So if you use baby food, by all no means, I am not trying to be negative here or anything. This was just something that saved us a lot of money because baby food is very expensive. So those are the ideas that I have that kind of saved us a lot of money when it comes to having a baby. Um, if you liked any of those things, make sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because that really helps my channel. And hopefully this <laughs> inspired you to realize that babies don't have to be as expensive as they sound. <laughs>